Hey everyone, thanks so much for stopping back by the channel today. This video is going to be showing you how to get the paramedic top with either the belt, the stethoscope, or the badge. Now you can do a couple of them together depending on what outfit you do select once you get into the heist setup screen, or you can just choose one or the other. It's very similar to the cop belt, how that used to work. Obviously, if you change the top, you will lose the belt, but you'll be able to keep the stethoscope or you'll be able to keep the badge. And this is a really simple, easy glitch. It looks cool. It's awesome. Happy DLC day. And I do want to give a huge shout out to Game Time Live. She was the first to upload this video that I seen. So I'll leave a link to her channel in the description. Please go check her out. Tell her things, subscribe, all that good stuff. So if you're going to do this mission, on your own or you want to go ahead and get started with these setups to look for clothing or glitches like I've been doing all day. You just need to go into the facility after you purchase it, head to the heist room and complete the prep work in free mode before you're actually able to unlock the heist setup. So it's a little different from normal heist. You'll see here it says heist prep. It's the very first mission, so you're not grinding a bunch of missions trying to get this outfit. All you do is steal an ambulance, which has some kind of, you know, paramedic supplies in it, deliver it back to the facility, and then you'll be able to unlock that setup and then complete it with one, two, or even three friends. So you only need one other friend to complete these heist setups with you. It used to be four, so that's also a really cool addition to this new DLC update. So once you do have that prep complete in free mode, or if you have a friend that is just going to invite you to this mission, they already have it unlocked, you just simply need to go into the mission. Super easy glitch from here on out. So the setup that you're going to be using to get these outfits is the very first setup in this heist. It's called the Dead Courier. It's a Lester mission. You really don't need to change any of these options in here, but if you wanted to have a couple more lives in case somebody dies, or if you wanted to buy ammo, you absolutely can do that here. You just need to hit ready to play and you can invite anywhere from one, two, or three friends. The really, really, really cool part of this glitch that I figured out is that every person that joins can save whatever outfit that they want. So I'll quickly show you a couple of the options here. You have a green and you have a blue paramedic suit on the paramedic team. If you're going to be on the recovery team, you've got some of the new DLC clothing over here. Also, you have some of those solid colored forward facing caps, which is another cool thing to note here. And then of the two options you have with the green and the blue, you have either the paramedic top with the belt, or you also have the paramedic kind of jacket that comes with the hat, of course, the stethoscope, and then this little badge. So you will spawn wherever you purchased your facility at, and then you'll need to just hop in a car. You and your friends can go together, and you each need to head to your own apartment. Do not try to go into your friend's apartment, because if you do that, you will not be able to complete this step of the glitch. So you do need to, again, head to your own apartment. So I just hopped in a friend's car. He dropped me off at my apartment and then he went over to his apartment to do the next step in this glitch to be able to save this outfit. So once you get to your apartment, just head to the blue circle that's at the front of the building and you will enter your apartment right away. There's no killing yourself, nothing special to do here. Just go straight into your apartment and then go down to the closet and you can access the closet from this job. When you get into your closet, you just need to change something about the outfit. Here, I change the gloves. You can add a mask. You can change shoes. Anything that you want to change on this outfit, just make sure you are making a change. You cannot save the outfit in the mission, but that's okay because once we back out of this mission through our phone, after a couple of seconds, you'll still have the outfit on. So you can simply just walk out of the closet, a few seconds, pull up the phone, and quit the job. If you were doing what I did, or you have a couple of the friends that are in this mission with you that want to go ahead and get the outfit or a portion of this outfit to put on their character now, just wait a couple of seconds, let them get into their apartment and get their outfit changed or, you know, an accessory or something changed here, and then they will be able to quit the job, one of you, it doesn't matter who, and then both of you or all of you will spawn in free mode with it. So I'm just checking here to see if I can do anything through my interaction menu, and I wasn't able to, so you can save all of that for when you get back into free mode. Again, you don't save the outfit in the mission, you save it back in free mode. So you'll see here my friend was ready, so I go ahead and pull up the phone, quit the job, through my phone and then very safely and easily spawn back into free mode right next to my apartment where you can then go inside and make tons of changes to this outfit and I'm gonna show you here just a couple of items and cool pieces you can put together I posted an outfit on my Instagram too if you wanted to just I don't know check out the outfit that I ended up creating with it very similar to what I used to do with the cop outfit or the cop belt when that was around but I just really 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 love that you're able to do this of course, with anywhere from one, two, or three friends. And then also that all of your friends can get the outfit too at the same 
time. That's really amazing. I love glitches like this where everybody benefits from them. It just makes it so much easier. So here, like you can add the long colored gloves if you're a female. You can add mask, other hats. If you just change the top, you can put that paramedic, either the stethoscope that you would get or the badge with any top, which is a really cool piece for this outfit too. But of course the belt does go away. If you change the bottoms, you keep everything. You keep the top, you keep the little belt, and you keep the badge. You can keep this hat too if it's something that you like or something you wanted to create with the outfit, but I went ahead and just added a rebreather and then switched to another style of top. You can also change the shoes. You can add a duffel bag to this. You can also add a parachute. If you're having issues with your duffel bag, I want to shout this out in this video. Check my Twitter and my Instagram. I left information on that just so you guys know, and I'll also just leave some information in the description just as a heads up. So don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, leave me some comments on the video, and I will see you soon.